you know, the, the break, you don't know, really, con um, really know how your players are going to come out of the break, you know, we've prepared them well, like a mini little pre-season that you've had, and uh, come out of it nicely, they look fit, they look sharp, they look relaxed, uh, and uh, look ready to to go, so uh, all it is is uh, result orientated, and uh, hopefully for a good performance, and you know, we had a nice little run uh, for, for a month or two uh, before the break, so let's hope that can continue. When we saw in uh, 2008, you guys did the double over arrows. 2009, they, they put three on you. Um, do you think 2010, the year when you guys can turn it around and, and hopefully come back? We know you've lost three games in the, in the current season to the, in Cup and Lee. Um, is that, do you have a psychological edge over you guys? Or? No, we don't take, we just take one game at a time. You know, if we had beaten them three times, I wouldn't say we have a cycle. You, know, you just got to take one game at a time. And for us, it's a new, fresh start to a new year, 2010 football year on the uh, calendar. So let's hope we can come with a refreshing attitude and a refreshing start to the season, uh, to our mini season. And uh, for us it's, it's like the start of a new season for us. So we want to come up raring to go. We've got six games, six major games in February. Uh, so we want to make them count and every single one of them count. You know, we know the first half of uh, the season didn't go well for a number of reasons. Um, are you confident for, for, a good, for a good start to the second half and, and, and a good finish to the, to the two year? Yeah, you see, there's a number of reasons. Uh, we had uh, reasons of uh, not making any excuses. Um, you know, obviously the death of, of Silo, or young Silo, and uh, we missed that one of our players. Uh, and then obviously our strike has not been on, on, on form. It has, it has sort of uh, presented the season as a difficult one. And, uh, you know, and as I said to my strikers now, no matter what you do now, you know, uh, Bradley Ritson finished, uh, finished last season off with nine league goals. He has two at this moment in time. He gets six and six goals the game. He's got eight, which is one short of last season, and he had, he's had a terrible season. So uh, it's an opportunity for them to start all over again. And uh, him and Nguyenia uh, and, uh, and um, Ayanda have opportunity now to go there and, and, and to take the league by storm in the next six games and set a target for themselves. And let's finish on a really, really hard note from our striking department because if we do that, I know there will be more than formidable because that's been one of our lacking areas where we dominated most matches this season, if not a lot of them. And we haven't put the ball in the back of the net and then they come down once outside and we make a silly area and that, that happens in games. And we concede and lose 1-0, you know, so we, we've got to turn that around and make sure we, the chances we do present ourselves, we, we take them and make it more confident, get more confident in front of us. Final question from me, Neil. You've been involved as a derby, as a coach, as a player. Certainly, special occasions, aren't they? Yeah, I think every match is going to be a derby for us. We set ourselves six derby matches there for the season. Uh, but yes, it's, it's, it's a formidable one. Uh, Arrows are a very, very good team. Uh, so we just got to make sure that we concentrate on what we're good at. Because I know when we, when we do what we're good at, uh, we can win this match.